Okay, in order for me to create a quiz in Edmodo, I would again go here to the left side of my screen. And you see you'll have latest post, post by students and assignments. And you don't see quiz here, nor do you see assignments or notes. But if you click on the more, now you do have the option to send an alert. You can make a connection. You can pull in RSS feeds, give a poll. But today I want us to look at quizzes, creating a quiz. We saw in another video what or how to look at the feedback or data from a quiz, but let's see how to create a quiz. So what first comes up, we've already seen this, this screen. These are previous quizzes. You can go back and modify any of your other quizzes or you can create one from scratch. So here I click create a quiz. Basically what I did is I would use Word documents that I made already and I would copy those um, Word doc copy those questions. If I had a test already in a Word document or any type of document that was already saved in, in an in electronic format, um, let's do that same question. How much do you know, and I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, about Edmodo and the first answer, um, this is not good, but to, to put this as a multiple choice, because that's not a wrong or right answer, that's just a, but that's just showing you how you would do it. And then you may say, I know a lot, and or I don't know much at all, okay? And then you would set whichever one is your correct answer, you could always, change which one and you can add a response um, I don't really care to know <laughs> and you'll have students with that type of attitude so um, nevertheless you wouldn't want to put a an open-ended question such as this one because it's not really a right or wrong answer it's just ask uh, what you know but any question you could add and it wouldn't take once you've uploaded a quiz such as this you don't ever have to re um, load or you don't ever have to upload it again you can always use a quiz and you want to title that quiz um, I'll title it practice quiz all right and uh, you can give them a time limit, limit or you don't have to and after you create your quiz and, and you can go you can add a question that's one question there you can add another question if you notice over here now you have two questions. You can add as many questions as you like. It doesn't. It, it leaves that if you don't add a question, it'll leave the number two there or whichever number you didn't add a question in red. So you can add as many questions as you like. You can make it a mini quiz with five questions. You can make it a test with 25, 30, however many questions you want. You could do that, and then you will assign that quiz. Um, it's going to say I have errors because I did not actually. But I'm just going to remove the question for the sake of demonstration so I'm going to assign the quiz now it is okay there you are so now I've assigned that quiz and I'm going to send now if you notice this is a quiz so now that means that it has a due date you cannot assign a quiz without putting a due date let's just say it's due tomorrow Saturday which you normally wouldn't do that but uh, you may do something with that's due on a Saturday and so you have to that's you see the name of the quiz there uh, it has one question and you can always go back in and edit the quiz, select the different quiz if you change your mind. You've got the date there and you send it to your students. And so there you have it.